Johnson County School District spending tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees, all to avoid paying for visually impaired students' Braille books. 41 Action News investigator Jessica McMasters followed this family's battle for more than a year and uncovered new details tonight. Brooke Petro, a tenacious 10-year-old, with plans of someday working for NASA. She's already mastered skills that launch her beyond most of her peers. What you can't see is Brooke is legally blind. Well, that doesn't stop her from being a high achiever. Brooke's parents say it's the school district that's placing hurdles on their daughter's path to success. They took away all of her braille. Brooke's family lives in the Blue Valley School District, but send her to private school to accommodate Brooke's needs. Still, the district is responsible for a portion of Brooke's education. Crab and Goya weren't listening. Before Brooke even talking. began kindergarten, her parents, Lynn and Seren Petro, agreed to pay for the cost costs of private school, as long as the district paid for Brooks Braille books, something BVSD agreed to in an individualized education plan, or IEP. That is until last year. They changed her IEP without our consent. The district decided it would no longer supply Brooke with Braille books for the private school's curriculum. It's scary that you can just go in and change legal documents and then hide behind lawyers and get away with it. The Petros filed a due process complaint where a hearing officer evaluates both sides and makes a ruling as an independent party. Just last month, a hearing officer sided with the Petros, stating the school needed to follow Brooke's IEP, a long-awaited but short-lived victory. We knew the appeal was coming and it came and we knew we'd likely lose. The Petros did lose. This time, a different hearing officer sided with the district. And if the district is allowed to simply change those at their whim or to basically cloud the situation uh, with fancy lawyer tricks and outspend parents, um, then, then the children are simply always going to uh, pay the price. It's not just the Petros who are paying, so are taxpayers. Records show and the school confirms it spent $130,000 in legal fees fighting the Petros. That's a problem. That's a problem in, in my view. Now. Steve Roberts serves on the Kansas State Board of Education. He says the thousands spent on fighting this battle would be better spent on the children. I think it's the right thing to provide for Brooke. Her, her books are going to be more expensive than the books were for my kids because my kids were perfectly sighted. That's just a fact. The school district would not sit down with us to discuss the matter, stating it could not comment on specific students' educational needs, but issued this statement that reads in part, Blue Valley Schools is committed to fostering a learning environment that ensures equal opportunities for all students. Okay, go, go. go. Oh. In the meantime, the Petros say it's the district's most vulnerable children who pay the highest costs. I need someone to help and I need politicians. I need people who govern to look at the laws and understand what's going on. The Petros say the system is stacked against parents when it comes to due process hearings in Kansas. Hearing officers are paid for by the school district, something the Petros say creates a conflict of interest when it comes time to make a ruling. The Petros plan to fight the district's appeal. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.